Shut up and sit down. Hi, I'm PJ McTavish, and welcome back to another DC tutorial. In this question, we are doing tells an 18A3 short question. So as always, quickly read through it and then we'll move on. So the image on the right uh, shows the Salmon Weir Bridge over the River Moy in County Mayo. The drawn shows, uh, below shows the incomplete elevation of the bridge. A, uh, the curved support pillar is based on a parabola which is inscribed in a rectangle. V is the vertex of the parabola and P is the point of the curve, draw the parabola. And then part B, uh, F is the focal point of the parabola and point P is anchored to the bridge surface, uh, i.e. the axis, by two cable uh, cable stays. The line PF is one cable. The second cable is inclined at 25 degrees to the tan uh, to a tangent at P. Construct the tangent at P and uh, draw both cables. Okay, so first of all, uh, we are drawing the parabola. Now it's a straightforward, easy enough parabola. It is inscribed in the vertex in the box here. So the first point is here then it's going up to the vertex and P is a point on the curve. Now look at what they've done for you. To find your points we'd have to divide up the height here and the length into an equal number of parts. And they've already started that for you. To find a point on the curve you must draw the first line up to the first line. So this distance here is what we're going to use to split up the uh, width and this distance here is what we're going to do to split up the height. The height alone here get drawn straight across because the vertex is on the bottom left hand corner here. The lengths here get drawn to the vertex where they meet are your points and we'll draw on the parabola. So that is part A done. The curve support pillar is based on a parabola. We have a vertex at V. Point P is one of the points on the curve and that's it drawn in. Now let's move on to B. B, F is the focal point of the parabola. Uh, the point P is anchored to the bridge surface with two cable stays. The line PF is one cable, so let's draw that in strong. So the line PF is one of the cables. Then the second cable is inclined at 25 degrees to a tangent at P. Construct a tangent at point P and then draw both cables. So to get a tangent to the parabola what we must do is join the point where the tangent comes back to the focal point which is done first. After that then you draw a line perpendicular to the uh, directrix of the parabola from the point. In this case our axis is parallel or is horizontal here so the directrix would be vertical. So we're just going to draw a line horizontally across from P. Once that is done, we bisect this angle, and bisecting that angle will give you your uh, tangent. Then after that, I've highlighted here, the stay is 25 degrees, incline 25 degrees to that tangent. So then from that tangent, we'll go 25 degrees, and that'll be our second cable. So that blue line there represents our tangent. Then the question said the second cable is 25 degree incline, 25 degrees to it. So what you need to do is, as you saw there, get your protractor, lie it on your tangent, put the center point at P, because the cable is going to P, and then you draw your 25 degree angle and you keep going to hit the axis, because that's where the cable is being tied off. So that's the question done. That's really the definition of a short question. It's nice and short. Uh, that's how long they should be, nice and quick. And as always, I hope this helped. Uh, if it did, leave a like. Good luck in your exams, and we'll see you in the next one.